Hello and welcome to a new LP. This is going to be something a little bit different. So the most recent contest on the uh, draw forums was the Year of RPG contest uh, 2018. And uh, I've just recently gotten into RPG in the last month or two. I don't know, time is going pretty fast. But anyway, uh, the last month or two I've been getting into RPG and uh, I submitted something to this contest and I'm you know, just curious to see what it's gonna what's gonna feel like to be playing this. So let's just get into it. 2018 Year of RPG compilation. Okay. Lessons of Yore. A quest to rescue a king. A slayer and tar baby team up. Multiple adventures fighting off goblins. The stirring tales of 2018 have once again inspired Dirk to travel the world in search of adventure. Unfortunately, he's still grounded from the last time he ran off. So now he's forced to spend the day at school learning boring things. Dirk sat down at his next class and let his mind wander. So we can end the hold anytime we want. Uh, there's a map of, it looks like, everything. 5, 10, 11. Yep, there are 11 entries. I saw that from the, the voting thread. Uh, basically, make whatever you want as long as you have at most 15 rooms. Yep, it's all good. So I'm going to be doing these in the voting thread order, uh, which means we're looking for the Hostile Hotel. Yep, this is it. I believe uh, Kieran said we're going in this kind of a sequence. Okay, so the Hostile Hotel by Nintar. Uh, I didn't play the 2016 year of RPG, but I did see Chaco's LP of it, and I believe Nintar's entry in that was as long as all the rest of the entries combined. So uh, we'll see if this is going to be really long and or difficult, or if uh, Nuntar went with a different approach this time. Okay, Hostile Hotel Lobby. Arriving Farbag for the Stalwarts Conference, Tendry made his way to the Hostile Hotel. He was a little short of Greckles after splurging on the machines back in Twino, and this was the only hotel he'd been able to find that fit his budget. He glanced around as he entered the lobby. At first, he liked what he saw, a nice clean carpet and no roaches or spiders scuttling about. He made his way to the stairs, up to the first floor. It was then that the fun really started. Okay, uh, so yeah, it appears he has spent all of his breckles on those machines in Twino, in fact. Uh, which, as anybody who's uh, tried to optimize for the score points in Tender's Tale knows, that's exactly what you do. Uh, end boss here, the Rock Giant, possibly. Uh, we're talking some serious stat growth here. Uh, completely unequipped. Uh, my guess is we're looking for a sword to break through here. Maybe? Is this like a warp room? Hostile Hotel, first floor, the entrance. Ooh, a checkpoint. Maintenance staff will replenish the above stock and reclose all doors every time you leave the room. Should you break any walls, they will also be, be repaired. Oh! So is that only this stuff? So basically what you're saying is I can buy these as many times as I want. This stuff I'm less certain about. I mean there's a there's an easy way to test this. I have an autosave. So what happens if I do this? So I can replenish. Just make sure we understand uh, what's going on with the scripting here. Okay. Good. Uh, I don't know what the hotkey is for that. Let's just do this. Okay, so... Uh, about what I expected then from that. Well, that's a complication for sure. The rooms to the east are unlikely to be profitable before you have obtained the wooden shield. Uh, we can look at them anyway. All tiles cost 100 HP when stepped on. Yeah, so unlikely to be profitable, but... Uh, I mean, there are some gems that are just lying here. 
and these aren't percentage-based hot tiles, so there's not really any reason to delay getting those. Uh, we'll wait until we get to a score checkpoint, though. Okay, here's just a, a peek into a room that contains a sword. Okay. Uh, what is this bomb going to hit exactly? Uh, it's not going to show me. Uh, well, it's going to do that. Um, I think that's that all it's going to do. I think it might be. Just the four diagonals. So we can expand like orthogonally and or, and then diagonally out. I don't know. I should know how bomb bomb blasts work, but I'm not fully up on it. Okay, so we got some gems there. Prayer room. There is one of these on every floor. If you go higher up and get closer to the gods, their response to your prayers is stronger. As a special service to our customers, the first use of the prayer room is free. Okay. So this is an altar. Will you sacrifice zero rep to the gods? Okay, so we're using rep. We're not using grackles. Uh, okay. Increase attack by two, defense by three, health by 400. Those are the things that we're looking at. So as always, health is the worst option, uh, score-wise. Uh, I say as always, as as is always the case from what I've seen so far, not necessarily always. Uh, attack is two, defense is three. Uh, let's see, so that would be what, nine points and ten points? So attack would be the most valuable choice here. Uh, how... the gods will hear you if you sacrifice 20 rep, okay. So that's the kind of uh, scaling we're looking at, at, the, at least for now. There's the shield. The spider... Spider is too tough, okay. I figured this would be the last room because... Interesting. So the way these are set up is I'm going to need the key, I'm going to need a green key, <laughs> I'm not winning that fight anytime soon, um, 39, well, I cut it down significantly actually. But uh, yeah, so the way that these roach queens are set up is clearing one set of three roaches will lock off the corresponding treasure trove, but not the opposite treasure trove. And it looks like the choices then are one health and one defense versus two health and two defense, or 400 health versus 400 health and two yellow keys. Interesting. Okay, well, I still haven't seen a reason why I wouldn't just grab the hot tile stuff first. Uh, I could run through here. Uh, well, aside from the fact that there is a Roach Queen that... Uh, those are Mad Eyes, those are not... They're not Evil Eyes. Mad Eyes are doing 85 damage a hit. But I would get... Okay, I'm reasonably certain. Now that I've explored all of this, uh, this is how this is how RPG tends to go. You you explore everything first, and then you start making decisions afterwards. I'm reasonably certain the first thing I'm going to want to do is grab this defense uh, because that's the earlier you grab the defense, the better. And that's going to help me with every single hit, which is going to be a lot of hits when I'm unarmed and not really doing a lot of damage. So now as for this attack gem, this attack gem, the only reason I wouldn't want to do this is if I wanted to, if I, is if I needed that help for something right away. Let's see, I could go through this queen before, um, before fighting anything else, otherwise I'm going to have a really hard time with things because it's going to be, I was going to ask, are these standard values? I don't I don't know the monsters in this game well enough to know if these are standard values. That defense value seems really low on my mud baby, but... Uh, yes, probably. So... Wait, what opens this? That does. Okay. 
so I have to fight through all of this if I want to get to the sword. Which I do want to get to the sword, so my priority at this point is this shield, um, clearly. Get the shield as soon as possible, which means I need to get enough attack to hurt a spider. So I'm looking for at least three attack. Well, I've got one here for 200. Trading 200 life for one attack. Uh, is there anything else? I could grab these for a lot of damage. Likewise, I could grab these for a lot of damage. for the roaches. I don't seem to have that many choices, uh, honestly. Alright, when would I when would I ever actually be attacking these? I kinda wanna grab the key. If I'm going in there it makes sense to grab the key right away, but the problem with that is So F2 and F3 is save and load. Um, well, F5 is fine. So if I do that, I basically now have no health. Uh, that yellow key is much cheaper. So was that yellow key worth taking an extra 80 hits for? Well, almost certainly, because I could trade it for 200. So the only reason I wouldn't is if I wanted that for later. Roaches. I'm really thinking I should be going for these roaches. You know, actually, I'm probably going to be going for both of these because I'll get the life and that. And I'm going to need two green keys if I want to get through here, though. What's the value? Uh, you know, the value of a green key is three yellow keys. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not killing these mad eyes, basically ever. So if I'm grabbing that, it makes sense to do it that way. 400 damage on the evil eye. It's not terrible. Uh, I can't do what I've just done because I don't have enough life unless I do this, at which point I might want to wait until I have two. I haven't grabbed that yet. Two yellow keys because then I can grab the health. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, also, rather than, I guess, trying to optimize this too carefully. I mean, I don't want to... I don't want to be careless, but... I'm not going to be getting a perfect, uh, you know, 100% efficient score on my very first playthrough of the whole, because I don't even know... Like, do I want to be coming back here later and get, getting this after I'm strong enough to kill the evil eyes? Like, I don't know if that key is even valuable yet. I mean, I guess I have this, so... Uh, do I want to go with a defense strat? That's the other option. I don't know. I need attack. I need attack to get to the shield. The shield's going to make a huge difference. So let's. Uh, do I grab that attack? Because the, the alternative is to do that, which gives me enough health to kill three roaches. Okay. So we'll do that. And we'll go up here. Which gets us a bunch of health. Yeah, I'm not gonna hit the attack threshold anytime soon. 
So I might as well get that defense as soon as possible, unless I'm going for this defense first. Uh, am I going through this clean? I could for the green. You know. Yeah, it's 300 for the queen, but... Okay, well, let's uh, quickly check something. Is it plus one for the next threshold? It is. Okay. So I think we're going to do that after we've done this. So yeah, we've sealed off all of this. help. I did have this option. I didn't even look at this. I didn't even look at this. Okay. Um. I'm not gonna have enough help anyway for this yet. Still can't be hurt by my attack and I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. Like, I need to collect basically as much attack as possible before I, before I deal with this spider. But there's no way, there's no way I'm dealing with this gray man anytime soon. So I feel like that health, that health thing might have been questionable. Okay, where, where is all my attack? I also have the prayer option. I do have the prayer option. Just the prayer for health? Was it 200 or 400? It was 400. Which is 10. Which is 10 points. Attack is 10. Okay. Okay. So actually, the health and the attack are the same, same value, although the attack will probably help me more eventually. But... So defense is the losing, losing uh, choice. As far as attack go, I'm going to ignore this, because I don't think I'm getting through a Grey Man any time reasonable. So there's one, two attack. Well, there's infinite attack because of this room, but three, four, basically there's four attack. Plus this. Grackles for a yellow key. Which makes this trade very questionable why I would trade 20 Grackles for this health. I'm going to go 30 Grackles for this and then get that. It's 150 to 200, isn't it? I guess 150 is technically better. Uh, it's 50 for 1 or 10 for whatever. That's, that is questionable for sure. Um, What am I even doing? Break into here and fight some roach queens. That seems like a bad idea. Uh, if I'm getting this, this has to be the first fight I do in this room if I want to actually get this. Which, yeah, that's what I figured. Which I really kind of don't. Okay, uh, I think that this is a decent option then. I could do this and get that. The thing is, every attack helps so much. Every attack helps so much. This seems just... I can't, I can't justify 200 health for that. Not yet. This is not going to save me 200 health. 
Okay, well, I guess we'll do this. For some reason I thought that was going to be 400 health. Okay, so that is a loss. We're going to get those. So when we're going through that, the advantage of a green key is that I can get a bunch of stuff, but I think I want to make this trade. Just need a little bit more health. Problem is. I don't think I can afford this, right? No, not quite. I need a little bit more health first. This room I'm basically done with. These mud babies, yeah, I'm done with this room completely. So I have more health here. This would be a win. to be a profit of 200, but there's so much more potential to reduce that than there is to reduce these. There's nothing saying I have to do both of those, but I'm going to. Uh, yeah, that evil eye is what is saying I need to do both of those. Okay, so now that I've got a green, I can spend it here, get myself another attack, another defense. I have 30, 30 Greckles, so we're just going to do this again. Get ourselves some more stats. Because that's going to be the gimmick of this, uh, this hold, is that I'm going to have to keep coming back here and I'm going to have to keep buying these. I'm sure there's a clever way to... S yeah, see, that's so much better than a thousand. Okay. 666 for 200. That'll get me a shield. Well, no, not quite. But yes, it will. It'll get me a shield, but then I'll die afterwards because I won't have. Unless I wanted to trade for this or something. Spider plus one attack still makes makes you cheaper. But if I'm going plus one attack, at this point I'm getting that or going up here. And that's gonna require killing an antlion, which is a bit ambitious. Okay, so If I kill both of these Wraith Wings, I will have enough life to survive. Is there anywhere else I can pick up some health? Uh, not really. Yeah, not looking good. Okay. Do that. That gives me enough to survive the spider. I have a shield. And now things will be a lot less dangerous, but I still... Greyman... It's 
not looking good. I need a green key for any of those anyway. But anyway, I'm spending green keys on this, so spending a green key here makes sense. Uh, this lobby, I wonder if the lobby is going to be better uh, on higher levels. I mean, presumably it'll have a higher multiplier, so yes, uh, in that sense. Gosh, these straight things, straight things are not too bad anymore. Thing is, I've already killed all the roaches, so there's no. Oh, well, there might have been. Oh, okay, yeah. This is basically a gauntlet uh, to get to that. So the shield. I mean, I can. I can kill this. I feel like with the way the lobby is set up, the uh, one attack gem is always going to be better than the one yellow key, because I'm trading a yellow key for an attack gem. Uh, which is not, not point-wise, point it's not so good, but I just don't have a lot of options. So I think I want to kill you, so that you don't spawn an egg. And then maybe fight some of this other stuff for some help. that. Uh, well, I have more health, I can grab this for free. For, well, free, for 200 health. Uh, which is expensive, but... So these Wraith things aren't being reduced in quite a while. Okay, so what we're gonna do, kill, kill the Roach Queen so she doesn't spawn an egg. Uh, this isn't even gonna give me enough health to, to grab this. Uh... Not ideal either. And there's that. That's a that's a really good trade, actually. Roach Queen's only doing 80. It's gonna be a while until I get to those. Okay. Okay, Roach Queen. We decided that we wanted the we wanted your help. Mud babies are still too big. We're looking at yeah, 500 damage for 200 health. No, thank you. Uh, uh, what do I do? What do I do? I could kill those for a green key. I could have done that a long time ago. That would have given me more defense, which is good. Probably I should have done that um, quite a while ago. Plus one attack's not going to make a difference for you guys, so let's just grab the, the attack and the defense. Now, plus one attack makes a difference for the queen, so we're going to do it. Makes sense. I'm only doing 60. I'm doing 438. What if we actually want up here? Um, we want to kill that Roach Queen, but we're gonna need a lot more life. I have a lot of grunkles. I could actually just buy some some health or some keys. 60 key if I want to get the attack along with it. Uh, I'm not getting the attack though. It's uh, a key for 200 life. Mm. Really now that yellow key looks like a worthwhile investment. Why didn't I just grab that at the beginning? I really should have. Uh, you are health neutral but you get me a key. Okay. You would kill me, but then you'd get me green key. Now that is health, barely. Uh, it's also a lot of grapples, which is nice. Yeah.
and if health is the issue, could buy 150 health for 20 grapples. What do I even do with more health at this point? Basically, I guess at this point, the objective should be to get the sword. So that's going to involve... Uh, what opens you? You do. Uh, it's going to involve two Nether fights to get the sword. Once I get the sword, I have this stash here for free. I also lose the ability to be disarmed. That's interesting. Definitely worth considering. The only place that actually... This is the only thing that really benefited me to be disarmed, right? Which... Pretty much guaranteed to get through anyway. Well, I guess... Yeah... This I can't do once I get the sword. I mean... It's not really a concern. That, that's far off into the future at this point. Uh, huh. So like I said, the bomb's gonna blow up. I think only those four things. So we're almost certainly gonna wanna kill the spider by the time we get in here and just grab that health. You have bees, but again, that's we're talking. 600 life loss for that. It's a lot of life. I feel like I'm just kind of running back and forth without, without actually doing anything. Right, there's nothing over on that side that I want. So basically at this point I'm looking at clearing this uh, as best I can. Getting more attack helps with a lot of this stuff. Getting more attack helps with you significantly as well. Is there any way I can get one attack easily? Got a green key, I could. Uh, if I had the yellow key, I go double yellow key again. I guess I could go for the uh, the roach queen. It's not too bad. There's a relatively cheap key. One grapple short of buying another key. Uh, I do not want to kill you until I'm ready to kill everything. Wait, now that this is done. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Opening up this makes... it puts me into danger. Because uh, it means I have to kill you before I can go forward. Uh, or I could just get I get really high attack, I suppose. I'd rather save for the spider. Yeah, so this, no, this will make sense. Okay, so we're gonna grab the key. Uh, I need one more Breckle, though, to buy the other key, so I should... I should fight first, and that is a health profit. You're cheaper, you're cheaper, you're cheaper. You're not getting cheaper for a while. If I fight you, I get the attack. If I fight you, I get the attack. And I also get a little bit of health. I also get health from you. That's two more yellow keys and an attack gems. Let's do that. Plus two, plus two on you. Right. I 
I'm not getting in here until I get two more attack at this or three more attack at this point. But I have two yellow keys. So I might as well. Okay. Uh, how much damage are you guys doing? Attack still helps with the spider. With the mud baby is a little bit less. Uh, I could then just take out this mud baby for the green key at this point. Green men aren't anywhere reasonable yet, are they? Not really. Next green key. Go for that. Maybe. Does that significantly reduce the damage I'm taking here? I'm starting to take pretty low damage values. But I need 200 health. God, I have 30 grapples. How much damage do these things do this way? This is just a making progress, I suppose. Uh, I could fight. No, no. I could fight those for grapples, but I mean. I'd rather not do this until I have a sword. I mean, aren't really doing that much damage. So actually, I think at this point, do I have enough health to even get through all this? I do. Okay. Uh, which gets me in here. Gives me access to this, although those are some nasty hot tiles. Again, I need life. Uh, how the needers looking? Still fairly painful. How are how about all these fights? Yeah, 120. I mean, that's that's really good health there. This point, you are a prophet all the way through. Yep. So we're already we're already at a point where we are guaranteed clearing all three of these before we set off the bomb. Just because we will make up the extra 600 life is well, basically it's going to be worthwhile. We don't we don't want to blow that up. Um, 200 life is 2 defense or 1 attack. Are there any queens here? There are no queens in this room. Uh, okay, well I've looked at it. Uh, it's been uh, a bit over half an hour, so I think I'm actually going to call the first episode here. Uh, we've... Not that the map would uh, show it, but it, we, we've made some, some semblance of, of progress here. I feel like I made a bunch of bad decisions, uh, partially because there are just a whole bunch of trades that are all mediocre and I'm forced to make trades that I don't want to be making. So uh, that's what this is going to be about, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for now. I will continue in the next part. I will see you then.